It is 941. Happy Tuesday. More local coffee shops have opened up in the last few years, offering a drive through window. And as we continue to practice social distancing, these drive through windows are really a great tool to support local coffee shops and stay safe. Joining me live right now is Brittany Smith, Yelp's Midwest Regional Director. We have missed you. It's great to virtually be with you, Angela. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I'm so excited because these places look phenomenal. And you have five places that we want to get through. So let's start in Carmel. What place do you suggest there? Yeah, Rose and Lois, which actually this business opened during the pandemic for the yeah. first time ever. So it's uh, definitely a standout in my mind. They opened just a few weeks ago, and it's a beautiful business because you can support multiple local businesses under one roof. They've got Blue Mine ro Roasting mm. for their coffee. They've got Sunday's ice cream that they use in their affogato, which is ice oh. cream with espresso poured over. Um, they've even got a hot chai on there. So you can go to one business, go through the drive through and support m multiple businesses in one stop. Hello, that sh that cup with the ice cream and it looked phenomenal. Yeah. Let's, um, it was interesting because, you know, Starbucks shut down um, several of their locations um, there for a while. Um, you know, we like to support them, but I like to support local myself, too. So let's go to Schoolhouse 7 Cafe. Tell us about this one. Yeah, this this business just opened in the last year or so, and it's actually a beautiful brick schoolhouse that's been converted into a coffee shop. They even have a two-story patio deck for outside dining, which is a little more popular right now as well for safety. And you can pull through their drive through and Yelpers really recommend the macchiato mm. and the bagel that is filled with eggs and bacon and cheese. It's a standout. So they even have food options there. And it's, it's a beautiful business to behold just from the outside, just the historic aspect of it. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Now, if people maybe want to take a drive and try something yeah. new, we can head on out to Terre Haute. Yeah, it's a great example of just hopefully encouraging folks to try a new business to them. Little Bear Coffee Company opened in the last few months for the first time as well. It's a newer business. Their food options that they're offering, they're all locally made, beautiful creations each day that they're posting and sharing. Um, and as far as coffee goes, they have coffee, smoothies, tea. They're known for their bear bombs, which have caffeine in them as well. Mm. So you can go there and try a new business and some new treats. Okay, I'm going to let you say this uh, place in Fishers yeah. and say it. Yes, De La Leva. De La Leva, yes. <laughs> this business is beautiful on the inside, but for the time being, you can enjoy their drive through for some convenience. Uh, they are known for making all of their pastries fresh daily in house, and their pastry menu is uh, very large, so you can go every time and try something new. The chocolate croissants are definitely a standout, as well as the Americanos. Uh, so it's a fun business in Fishers. It's really impressive. Hamilton County actually has several drive through options. Look how cool that inside. I mean, I just want to go in there and sit in there and, and be happy. Yeah, there are lots of pictures of that backdrop. <laughs> Super cool. All right, Cabin Coffee, and I drive by this one all the time in Avon. Um, tell yes. us though, a little bit about maybe folks that haven't tried it. Yeah, so this um, it's a smaller regional chain that actually started out of Iowa, and now it offers something for the West Side folks as a drive-through option. They're known for their cabin club. A lot of these coffee shops are also offering food, as you can see, which is a turkey and ham on a marble rye. But people also love it a little sweeter tooth that they offer a menu of different frappe options. So you want a little smoothie version of your coffee? That's a good location for it there at Cabin Coffee. Oh my gosh, fantastic, Brittany! Thank you so much. We've missed you. We always love when you come on, and what a great way to look at some of those different places that maybe we didn't know about. Thank you so much. I See appreciate it. See you later. All right, 945.